How is it even possible to eject without dying when you're flying faster than sound? Pilots are trained to stay with a failing plane for as long as possible, but the number one cause of death in these cases is the pilot staying in the plane too long. How do you even get out of a plane without losing your head? Ask Bill Weaver about it for starters. His insane story begins with him test piloting the SR-71 Blackbird at 78,000 feet. Weaver was flying at Mach 3, 2300 miles per hour, equivalent to flying the length of the Mississippi or flying from Paris to Baghdad in less than an hour. His right engine suddenly died at three times the speed of sound. The incredible thrust from the remaining engine caused the plane to go into an uncontrollable spin and it started to disintegrate around him. He and his test flight specialist, Jim Zweier, tried to slow the plane down, but Weaver passed out. When he woke up, he was falling through the clouds high above the earth. He remembers thinking that he couldn't have ejected and survived. Turns out the nose and cockpit of the plane were ripped off. The G-forces tossed the unconscious Weaver and Zweier out of the cockpit. Luckily, the pressurized suit acted like a little escape pod, providing oxygen to breathe and keeping Weaver's blood from boiling in the high atmosphere. Luckily, the suit's parachute auto-deployed and he fell gently to the earth, rescued by a New Mexico ranch owner. Zweier didn't survive. But Weaver was back in another SR-71 two weeks later. Like and comment on this video and be sure to subscribe and please buckle up for safety.